Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to avoid coasting for your CDL road test. Now, you probably need to know what coasting means. So coasting when it comes to driving a tractor trailer usually happens when you're driving a manual transmission. So if you're coming to our school, we're gonna teach you the proper way on how to shift a 10-speed transmission. 10-speed transmission simply means that there's gonna be 10 different gears inside the truck, and you're gonna to have to know how to get from gear number one all the way up to gear number 10 and back down again. We're gonna use a, the most common method which is called double clutching. And that's what you're gonna to have to use and master in order for you to pass your CDL road test. So coasting means when you're shifting your transmission, your, your vehicle is traveling while you're not in gear. So pretty much there's two different reasons why that would happen. One, your transmission could be in actual neutral, which means that maybe you're grinding in a bunch of gears, you can't find a gear, and if you're not in a gear, technically you're neutral, which means you're coasting. And the second reason is you can put your foot on the clutch as the vehicle is moving. As you, when you put your foot on the clutch, it's the same thing as being in neutral itself. So those are the main two ways that you can actually coast the uh, coast during the road test. Now, why is coasting so bad? So there is a rule on the road test where if you coast the length of the vehicle, say you're driving a 40 foot trailer, plus say we'll say 25 feet for the, for the, tra for the tractor itself, or to the maximum you're talking about 75 feet, right, on average. Uh, that means if you coast 75 feet for your road test, that's gonna be an automatic fail. Now don't come up to me and say, hey John, I've only coasted 30 feet or 45 feet and I didn't coast 55 feet because that's not an argument that you're gonna win, try not to coast at all. That's pretty much the main goal here. If the examiner thinks that you coasted the length of the vehicle, here at Driving Academy, we have our own third-party testing site, and when it comes to actually failing people for that reason, we make sure that you coast probably a length and a half of the vehicle. We don't just give it to you. We don't just fail you right off the bat. You're gonna have to coast dramatically, and you're gonna know when you do fail. With that being said, this video is all about how to avoid coasting at all times. Well, one, the main thing to avoid coasting is always know what gear that you're in. So a lot of times people are going through the gears and all of a sudden something happens out on the road and they completely forget what gear they're in, which means that when it's time to shift, they forget what gear they're going into next. So it happens a lot when it comes to shifting from fifth to sixth. So all of a sudden you're in fifth gear, as you can see in the diagram, it's gonna be on the bottom. To get into sixth gear, you're gonna have to flip the T-bar up and then go all the way to where first gear was and that's technically gonna be sixth gear. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but if you need help, we have our own state of driving simulator available. And this is where we can actually teach you how to shift properly before we ever put you on the real truck on the real road with real traffic. So this, this simulator right here is gonna be one of the coolest things that we have as part of our training. And we're one of the few schools in the country to actually offer that. So if you want more information on how our simulator works, give us a call 908-525-3609. It's gonna be included with all of our training programs, included with actual hands-on training as well. So that being said, where was I? So you're in fifth gear, you wanna go into sixth gear. What happens a lot is people forget that they're in fifth. They try to find the gear that they're in. They forget to flip the T-bar back up and all of a sudden all that grinding that's happening, the vehicle is still in motion, which means you're neutral, and if you roll too much, automatic fail. We wanna avoid that to happen. Step number one, never forget the gear. How do you do that? Easy way that I've seen it done the best is when you get into gear, say the number out loud. So once you get into fifth gear, say five, okay, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear, eighth gear, so on and so forth. And as you downshift, do the same exact thing. So that's gonna kinda keep your mind in check to make sure that you know exactly what gear you're going into and following that you studied here at Driving Academy and you mastered the, the shifting patterns itself and you know where all the gears are, there should be one reason why you don't shift. The, uh, why you don't coast, I mean. The other thing to avoid coasting is making sure that you start downshifting ahead of time. So coasting sometimes happens, uh, in many cases it happens when it comes to making turns. So what happens is, say the speed limit is 25 miles an hour, Say you're in seventh gear or eighth gear and you're driving 25 miles an hour or 35 miles an hour down the, high, down the road. All of a sudden a turn is coming up and you, don't, you wait all the way till the end to try to downshift dramatically so and then you can make that turn. The easiest thing to do, slow the vehicle down before. You never test it on how fast the vehicle is going and how fast you complete this test. You test it on how safe you can operate this vehicle. So make sure you start downshifting ahead of time so by the time you get to that turn, 
you don't have to kind of start scrambling and all of a sudden you forget what gear you're in and the gear doesn't go in because your speed is too high, so on and so forth. Just stick to the fundamentals, right? And what are the fundamentals? We teach a very simple system. If you want to increase your speed, you're going to upshift. If you want to decrease your speed, you're going to downshift. And how do you know when you should increase or decrease your speed? By looking at the RPMs. RPM is going to be one of the gauges on your dashboard. And when the RPMs get to 1600 or more, 16, 1700, that means it's time to upshift. When the RPMs get down to 1200, that means it's time to downshift. If you want to know exactly what the pattern is like to get yourself up and down, you want to give us a call, 908-525-3609. We have school tours happening every single day where you can come on in and actually get a training course that includes all of this inside the training course itself, right? So one, making sure that you're downshifting ahead of, uh, way ahead of time. Two, make sure you don't lose the gear. And then three is kind of uh, an easy thing to do is as long as you're in the right gear, do not use that clutch, right? So when it comes to using the clutch, the clutch should only be used for two things. Thing number one is when you're shifting. Thing number two is when you're stopping. Sometimes people come in from that car mentality and you use that clutch to kind of slow down or to kind of go around anything that you want to do. But sometimes you get into the bad habit of making that turn while pressing your foot on the clutch. If you're doing that, technically you're coasting, which means if you coast the length of the vehicle, even though it's a turn, you're still coasting, which means you can fail automatically. We want to avoid that at all costs. Now, why is coasting such a big deal? Why did the state or the government say, hey, if you coast the length of the vehicle, you cannot pass and get your CDL license. But one thing is, if you're coasting, you have no control of the vehicle. You can just tell the vehicle to go, vehicle to go right or left, but you can't really avoid anything that's happening because you can't give it gas. That is why you want to be in control of the vehicle at all times, and that's why we want to try to avoid coasting at all times. The other thing when it comes to coasting is, some people pop it into neutral, as they're coming into the light, especially with cars, and if you bring that over to a truck, it's no good. Say you're, go, you're driving down the road and all of a sudden the light changes, people just pop it into neutral and then they just press on the brake to slow the vehicle down and to ultimately stop it. If you do that again too prematurely and you coast the length of the vehicle, even though you're coming to a stop, again, that would be considered an automatic fail. So we want to get as many people passed as possible. And in order to do that, we invite you to do our guarantee training course. And that's probably the only school around that can actually guarantee that we get your license. How that works is we're gonna give you over 100 hours of training plus unlimited tries of the test. So even if you make a mistake coasting uh, because maybe you didn't wanna to listen to us too, too well or maybe you're nervous, which is normal, we're gonna keep taking you for the test until you pass at no extra cost to you. Those courses, all you need to get started is $500 down then we can work at a payment plan for the rest. And the cool thing about us is we're open up seven days a week, which means we can work around any kind of training schedule that you do have. You actually get to pick your own training schedule. And after you graduate with us, we do offer lifetime job placement. So if you want more information on those courses, there's two things you can do. If you're watching this at some normal hours of operation, give us a call 908-525-3609. If you want to get information right, right now, maybe you're watching this at two o'clock in the morning, or you don't really want to talk to anybody and just kind of want to do some more browsing, Take a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks, and I hope to see you on your road to freedom pretty soon, and I hope that you stop coasting, at least for your CDL road test. Thanks. Have a great day.